so the next question is av nodal delay so what is av nodal delay your impulses start from the sa node to av node then to the ventricles so the travel from sa through the sa node and from sa node to the av node is quite fast but from the av node uh, the tra uh, travel time is significantly increased and it takes some time for the impulses to re uh, to cross the av node and reach the ventricles now why is it even though the distances are uh, not much different so here uh, basically what happens due to this av nodal delay is that atria contracts first then the ventricle contracts so due to the um, uh, uh, so why is uh, there an av nodal delay so av nodal delay uh, occurs due to mainly the uh, the absence of bridging uh, bridging gaps within the uh, av node secondly the fibers within the av node are much smaller compared to the sa node so the travel again is decreased the, uh, as the diameter of the uh, muscle fibers increase more conduction speed and uh, thirdly there is much uh, branching of the av node uh, nodular uh, fibers hence there is increase in time taken for uh, the impulses to travel through the av node so all these factors cause uh, 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 causes the phenomenon known as the av nodal delay so in due to the av nodal delay uh so there is uh, filling uh, the, the contraction of atria occurs before the ventricle so that physiologically this uh, the ventricle has more time and uh, time to fill and uh, uh, time to fill and have enough end diastolic volume to have a normal cardiac output so uh, about 33 percentage of the uh, ventricular filling occurs during this and this 33 uh, uh, person is only possible due to the av nodal delay